Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the heating and humidification process on a psychrometric chart. Heating and humidification, basically heating means the sensible heating we can say where the temperature of air would be increased and humidification means the moisture content in the air would be increased that is latent heating. So for that I will draw the diagram and explain how this process is carried out. So in heating and humidification, here we have hot water spray which would be spraying the hot water and at the same time air would be entering. So this air which enters at dry bulb temperature TdB1 would be heated by this spray water which is hot water. At the same time, the water would get evaporated and mix in the air which is incoming air. And in this way the moisture content of the air will increase and finally it would be leaving at temperature TdB2 which is certainly higher than TdB1. So the process gets completed and it is heating and humidification. So TdB2 is greater than TdB1. Then I will plot it onto the psychrometric chart by drawing the psychrometric chart roughly. So this scale is indicating specific enthalpy. Unit is kilojoule per kg. Horizontal line is indicating the dry bulb temperature. And here this vertical line is indicating the specific humidity it is in terms of kg per kg of dry air it means in 1 kg of dry air how much kg of moisture or water vapor is present then to plot the given process the air which is entering which will be at a considerably lower temperature so I am indicating that it is at dry bulb temperature TdB1 and in order to plot point number one, we should have at least one more property that is minimum two properties of air should be known at the inlet in order to get the in intersection of point number one. I am assuming that we have the wet bulb temperature or relative humidity any one. So just an assumption that here we have the wet bulb temperature TWB1 for the incoming air and this intersection point will give us point number one then as the process is called as heating and humidification obviously point two should have dry bulb temperature greater than point number one so it would be just for an example that here we have the dry bulb temperature of the outgoing air and then if this dry bulb temperature is known in that case and here also if we have any other property for the outgoing air like for example relative humidity or wet bulb temperature suppose I am assuming an example that if we have the wet bulb temperature TWB2 for point number 2 joining these two points because here we have this intersection would give us point number second joining 1 and 2 would give us the process So this process 1 to 2 is showing heating and humidification and how it is completed for that 
from point number one i will be plotting a light horizontal line and from point two a light vertical line their intersection point is denoted as a from a up to two we can say that the moisture content of the air is increased so at initially the moisture content is of point 1 and a they are same so w1 and finally it reaches up to w2 so the moisture has been added similarly the temperature is increased from tdb1 to tdb2 indicated by this arrow so tdb2 minus tdb1 would indicate the heating of air so heating is indicated by 1 to a and humidification by a to 2 and their resultant is this line which is 1 to 2 and this shows the combined effect of heating and humidification so in order to get the enthalpy plotting this these points on the specific enthalpy scale would give us enthalpy h1 and h2 so therefore the amount of heat added during heating and humidification is given by the mass flow rate of air into the enthalpy difference which is h2 minus h1 then the same equation can be also be written in this way like it is m dot it is h a minus h1 that is the sensible heating at the same time there is latent heating so basically we can summarize heating and humidification like it is sensible heating plus latent heating because in case of latent heating the temperature or the dry bulb temperature remains constant and moisture is added whereas in case of sensible heating the moisture content is same whereas only the temperature change is occurring so plus m dot into h2 minus h a so both the equations are same and they will give us the amount of heat added unit would be in terms of kilowatts because the mass flow rate is in terms of kg per second h2 minus h1 it is kilojoule per kg so kg per second into kilojoule per kg kg and kg will get cancelled out in kilojoule per second is kilowatt and such process that is heating and humidification is used in case of winter air conditioners where we want to increase the temperature of air at the same time during winter the air is dry so to humidify it we have to use this process so in short that was an explanation regarding heating and humidification at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching